In this video, we will see how to design a precision peak detector circuit using op amps. Peak detector circuits are used to detect the peak, which means the maximum value of the input signal. It stores the peak value of input voltages for infinite time duration until it comes to reset condition. We need to store the maximum value and hence, a capacitor has to be used. The simplest peak detector can be built by just connecting a diode and a capacitor in series. Assume zero initial charge on the capacitor. Now, when a positive input is applied, the diode becomes forward biased and hence starts conducting. Hence, the capacitor is charged to the peak value of the input signal. Now, when the input starts decreasing, the diode becomes reverse biased. This is because the capacitor is charged to the peak value. Hence, the diode stops conducting and the capacitor holds this peak value. If the input rises above this peak value, the diode again starts to conduct and the capacitor gets charged to the new peak value. Till now we have assumed the diode to be ideal. However, practically the diode conducts only when the voltage across it crosses the threshold voltage. Hence, the output will look like this, where the peak would be slightly less than the actual one. For accurately measuring the peak value, we have to use the super diode, that is an op amp. This is how the circuit looks when we replace the diode with a super diode. RF is the feedback resistance whereas, RL is the load resistance. RL can correspond to an external load resistor or the input resistance of the voltmeter connected. We saw in the video on precision half-wave rectifiers that there is negligible voltage drop across the super diode. However in this case, when the diode is reverse biased, that is, when the input voltage is less than the peak voltage, the diode discharges through RL. To avoid this, the time constant for discharging has to be very large. In case of a periodic signal with time period t, RLC should be at least 10 times more than t. And similarly, while charging, the capacitor should follow the input immediately. Hence, the charging time constant should be very small. That is, RFC should be at least 10 times smaller than t. Note that when the diode is reverse biased, the feedback loop is broken and the op amp output saturates to minus Vsat. Now when Vn rises above the peak value, the op amp output takes some time to change from minus Vsat to some positive voltage. If you recall, we solved this problem when we built the precision half-wave rectifier by introducing another diode. If we connect a diode in this way, then D1 prevents the op amp from saturating and keeps the op amp output at zero potential when Vn is less than the peak voltage. An even better way of doing this is connecting this diode in feedback. In this case, when Vn drops below the peak voltage, D2 is reverse biased and D1 forward biased. Hence, the feedback is preserved and the op amp output follows the input. Note that as D2 is reverse biased, this does not affect the capacitor. Further, the discharging of the capacitor can be prevented by introducing a buffer before the load resistance. That's all for this video. If you have any doubts, please ask in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.